Hey everybody, welcome back to Out of Box Plays. Dark Souls. Alright, in the last episode, we got a lot done. We went to the Undead Asylum and made some steps in towards completing the game. So what are we going to do on this run? Um, that is an excellent question, dear viewer. And I'm not entirely sure. I would love to be able to actually view so if you pr you're probably wondering why I'm just doing the heart attacks reason being is that's the right bumper doesn't work again one second let me actually um this work no you quit out and then come back in again It's so annoying when this actually does this. No. Okay. I have a theory. There we go. So I actually have to get off of my OBS and then switch back onto it. So that's rather annoying, but not the end of the world. Okay. All things considered, what we actually want to do is... We want to make strides toward killing the Lord Vessels, and the way we do that is we have to travel around. Mm, I think I want to go down to... Yeah, I want to make my way towards Blight Town, and I do want to get down to that area where I can kill the Bed of Chaos, so we'll go and do that. Okay, so we're gonna go down to Blight Town. Might as well get that out of the way and see if we can actually um, kill the better chaos. So going to Lost Isolith and that sort of deal. It's gonna be very bright, and I don't necessarily know how we'll actually balance the video out, but we will make our way back down towards that area. It'll be very dark. Actually, before we do that, let's go over here. As you can see, there is... that's the Wayward... Wayward Knights. Can I target the knight? Motherfucker. There we go. Asshole. Really? There we go. Let's pick that up, and there's the S-Stock. Nice! But yeah, um, killing him just gives us some souls. We'll go down here. Let's actually pick up this humanity. Or it's the Transient Curse. The Transient Curse is what will allow us to actually get through New Londo Ruins. Go so, pretty good. Alright. Um The only way to, it's the only way to actually um do any damage towards the uh the ghosts in New Londo Ruins. Okay, let's not roll off the edge and there we go. We are gonna Making our way towards Blight Town. Let's see how we actually do against these guys. I want to see what sort of damage we're pumping out. Oh, fuck. Alright, well, let's not get hit. silly, but we managed to get out of there without getting too bunged up. Pick up the dung pies, and there should be one last homie down here. Yeah. 
shit. Pick that up. There we go. So I'm gonna equip that. I should probably keep the Homeward Bounds equipped, but I do want to pick up there. Make our way further down into Blight Town. Ugh. Doesn't feel good to be back. Oh, hey. Forgot this. I don't know if it's a mimic. It's not. The key to New Londo Ruins. Oh, that's. F so that's the key you actually use to get out. Well, you use it to get down. To to open that gate in the Valley of the Drakes. Interesting. At least we can one-shot those guys. Yeah, the less time I spend in Blight Town, the better. Okay, almost there. And we just ride this down. Okay, this way wasn't actually as bad as I anticipated. Alright. Now, where we have to go is... We have to go back into this area. Where we fought Quaylog. And then from there, that's where we actually, um have the ability to get down to the bottom area, or the demon ruins. We'll do that. I don't necessarily care too much about the thing that's down there. There's uh, the, before, When we first came down here, there was a, a guy who actually was um, protecting... Uh, yeah, he was protecting the spider? This is the sister of Quaylog, I think. Yeah. Um, we didn't kill him, but in order for us to actually get access to that bonfire, we will go ahead and do so. Alright. It's a bit of a jog all the way down here. Luckily, we don't actually have to fight anything, although we should be doing a good amount of damage at this point, so. Just keep on running. Okay. Almost there. And where is the staircase? Okay, here it is. That's the staircase. A lot of running in this game. Yes, we want to kill this dude. So we can actually access the bonfire. Yeah, that's one of the reasons why I hate this air. This. All right. Well. At least we can kill him that way. Come on. All right. Lovely. They picked this up. Uh, egg bullshit? Don't remember. And here we are. This is Quaylog's sister. We could kill her for a... Um, forget what it is. Oh, a firekeeper soul. Because technically she is a firekeeper. But not gonna do so right now. Probably when we finish the game. But yeah, no real point in killing her right now. Because I do want to keep that bonfire active. Oh yeah, if you actually kill a firekeeper, the fire that it's the bonfire that they're associated with will go out forever until new game plus. All 
Alrighty. So we're in this area now. And as you can tell, it's very freaking bright. The way you actually are supposed to handle this is you need to kill the ceaseless discharge. I know it's an amazing has an amazing name. Um You have to kill the ceaseless discharge, and then from there, he will make it so that the lava lowers. So we're gonna go ahead towards that way. Yeah. Heading that way. And there's a rather easy way of cheesing the boss. And we will employ that strategy as best as we can. There's no guarantee whether or not I'll actually be able to pull it off, but I am actually familiar with this particular strategy. So we trip so we go through the fog gate, and in this area, we just have to run along the edge. There's actually a little L-shaped path that's coming up onto our right, and we'll run down that path. And I'll show you exactly how to cheese the ever-living shit out of the ceaseless discharge. He doesn't actually attack us until we pick up the... I think that's his sister's clothing? Near the edge, and here he is, in ceaseless discharge. Yeah, he doesn't aggro onto us until a little later on. So the first thing we gotta do is, of course, miniature stamina regen. And... here. This could go either really well or really, really poorly. So I'm gonna pick this up and then I'm gonna run all the way towards this particular area and... Okay, that's kinda what I was hoping to dodge. Just keep running, running, and we want to make our way all the way back towards this area. Hopefully we can make it before we get hit. And lovely. So the way that this trick actually works is we want to lure him into getting into this particular area. At least coming around on this side. So once he makes his way over here, we can begin our cheese. So, we stay right here in this particular path and we wait for him to and there we go we want to make him attack into this path with his arm so we just chill right here come on attack me you won't do it you little bitch Oh, he actually did do it. Oops. Alright. Okay. Attack me. Where's your tentacle, bro? Buddy. I need you to put your tentacle down here. Oh, fuck. Alright. Well, obviously this isn't working. Rather unfortunate. Because this is actually how I cleared it in my last run. Oh, fuck. That won't work. Buddy, I need you to actually attack me in this area. You know you know how to do it. Where's your tentacle? Yeah, like, for real, where's his tentacle? There it is. I'm doing a really bad job of timing these things. I 
Maybe? 13 damage, alright. Hey, little bitch. Where the fuck is your tentacle? do the other cheese. Hopefully we manage to get through there. Alright, so we're all the way back at the fog gates. There's a... I know something actually happens to him when he gets... There's this area. And there you go. He lo he loses his grip. There you go. That's how you kill the ceaseless discharge. Apparently we didn't do it the other way, but this way works. actually killed him we can finally explore the bottom parts of the demon ruins give us 22 souls and we will make our way back to the bonfire so yeah the ceaseless discharge is actually one of the easier bosses to kill in this game and he did give us a fair amount of souls so feel happy about that I don't necessarily know if it's enough to give us two levels but I mean it's a good amount of souls nonetheless in any case Let's run back up here and bank our souls, because I don't want to actually die with this many on us. Yeah, just ignore them. You can, if you're going through this area, you can honestly just ignore them. So we're going to put this to 40, and I... Uh, but we are really close. So we have 40 decks. They don't give souls. That's unfortunate. But I'm pretty sure these do. This is honestly a little ridiculous. Okay. Well, luckily we know now that we're not supposed to attack these, still. And that actually gave us enough souls to level up that. So we're gonna put that into our endurance. And now we're gonna move on. A little silly, but that's fine. Okay, anyway, now that we actually killed the Ceaseless Discharge, we are free to explore the bottom parts of the Demon Ruins. Well, the before part of the Demon Ruins. So in there, I think this is where the Bed of Chaos is actually located. We have to make our way down so there's that area. Anything to pick up along the edges? Maybe? Oh boy. There is this. Pick that up. And these are very reminiscent of the Capra Demon.
killed him pretty easily. Does he drop anything? No. Hmm, do we want to tango with these guys? There's that. Eh, probably not. I'm feeling lazy, so let's just run our way down towards this way. There are a couple of NPC encounters that we could partake in, but those require us to actually be kindled. The one that I know for sure does come in this- there are two in this area. The one that spawns right here, and there's another, I think it's called- um, he has the thorn armor, essentially. But they only come out when you actually have your humanity restored. But the risk of having your humanity restored is that you get um, encounters. Sometimes... It all depends if you want to engage in PvP. I don't necessarily care about that. So I don't... I probably won't be able to... Won't kindle any... Um, shit. Okay. Lovely. Check a little bit more, and there are some worms that actually spawn in this area. Check some more. Even though we are taking a bad bit of damage, we should be honestly be completely fine. Is a staircase. It's right there. But worms spawn actually from this area. And they're kind of annoying. These little totem bros, they spew fire. Eh, but they're relatively like easy to kill. So we should be honestly fine. Right there. There's that that worm that spawns. We might be able, actually able to kill him. Just using... I do know he thrashes back and forth. There we go. Not too bad. And he was covering a bonfire, so we will light the bonfire, and... Alright, cool. So, we're gonna rest here for now. Anyway, we made some good strides in exploring the demon runes, and we're gonna, in the next episode, we're probably gonna make our way down towards the... towards Lost Isolith. In any case, if you liked the video, please hit the like button, it helps out a great deal, and of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. For now, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.